guys, Asper. So here it is. Today we're making a super, super, super easy recipe for gulab jamun. The ingredients that you're going to need is two cups of fresh ricotta cheese. Link will be down in the description box below or up in the i card. Two tablespoons of granulated white sugar and two cups of gulab jamun mix. So here is what the packaging normally looks like. And you can buy this at any Indian, Bengali, or Pakistani store. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting off, we're going to mix our sugar and gulab jamun mix with a smidge bit of water to make it into a paste so that once we incorporate with the rest of the ricotta cheese, everything mixes in smoothly and there isn't a chance of lumpage, which can happen. So give the ricotta cheese and our little sugar gulab jamun paste a good little mix around. Don't worry, the dough is going to be super sticky, but that is absolutely okay. So once you've incorporated your gulab jamun mix, sugar, and got the cheese evenly, we're going to heat up a tablespoon of clarified butter, and we're going to add it to our dough, give that a quick little mix, and our dough is gonna be perfectly smooth, it's not gonna be sticky. So then we're going to separate our dough into one teaspoon measurements, and we're going to roll it into a sphere like such and we're going to continue doing this until all of our dough is used up. Once you're nearly done rolling out all of your dough, Heat some unflavored oil to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and then we're going to fry all of our little gulab jamuns in small batches. Keep that in mind, it needs to be in small batches, you don't want to overcrowd your pan. So gently and carefully put your little gulab jamuns into the oil and you're going to go to stirring town and you're going to stir these from the beginning till they are golden brown. This will take around 10 to 15 minutes on medium low heat, but don't worry, you're going to stir it until it reaches a color like this, a deep golden brown color, and then we're going to use our spider and take it out of the oil and let it drain on a paper lined plate. And then you're going to fry your next batch until all of your little glove jumpings are completely fried. Also, quick little tip out there, in case your glove jumping starts to crack, immediately crank up your heat and that will stop any sort of crackage to further proceed. gulab jamuns are fried up we're going to make the sugar syrup so for that it's a one to one ratio one cup of sugar to one cup of water in this situation it's eight cups of sugar to eight cups of water so once we've added in all of our sugar and water into our little pot we're going to put it onto the stove top and we're going to let the sugar dissolve once the sugar is dissolved, we're going to let it come up to a rolling boil and we're going to continue cooking it until your sugar syrup forms string. So once you spoon out a little bit of your sugar syrup, let that cool for a little bit and you put it in between your two fingers. If it makes a string like such, you know you're good to go. Immediately turn off your stove top and you're going to let your sugar syrup cool off to the side for two to three minutes with the lid on. After the two to three minutes, you're going to take off the lid, carefully add in your gulab jamuns, and you're going to cover it with the lid and let it sit off to the side for six to eight hours to let the gulab jamuns absorb all of that beautiful syrup. Keep in mind to come back every hour to give the pot a quick little swirl to make sure that the gulab jamun is evenly absorbing the syrup. And this will be your finished product. 
As you can see, we garnish ours with a little bit of mawa or dried milk, but you can leave yours plain just as is. They're delicious both ways, and yes, these are totally in a foil tray. That's because all of these sweets are getting catered to an event. But that's not the point of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want future videos from me, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and I will see y'all next time. Bueno, diga, bye!